Hello, Namibia. Auntie Petronella here. So, today we want to look at the skewed media coverage towards the election, in particular by media. I mean, what is really going on here? Does media attention increase a candidate standing in the election? Yes. Does a candidate standing in the election increase media attention? Also, yes. Is it the nation that wants the independent candidate or is it the media that's piling the idea onto the electorate? Look at it this way. NBC just last week received 50 million Namibian dollars injection from the government. We assume to help cover the election. The same NBC that provided fake images of the Utapi rally and refused to apologize on it and chooses to cover the rally of one of the candidates and ignoring the founding fathers rally in Ochivarongo. Even their online pages were full of only one candidate. They ignored the PDM rallies. What are we really missing here, people? Usually complaints have to do with what the media is saying about a candidate, but currently there is a rise in how only one candidate is getting more attention than all the other candidates. And that is dangerous. As the Americans. Uh -huh. Would SABC ignore Mandela rally endorsing Tambo Beke? He is the founding father, for God's sake. Hmm? Unless if you say his message does not resonate with your agenda. For goodness sake, to run with a social media story? Come on. Where is the coverage of other parties? Even of the president and the party that pays your bills. You tell me we only have news when only one independent candidate speaks? Is that not voter capture? There is need for a thorough investigation of how the state media is choosing to cover others over some. There are more than seven presidential candidates, but statistics shows that even the incumbent is not getting the same coverage as the independent one. Are the state media apparatus captured? There is nothing wrong with PDM candidates, RDP candidate, independent candidate, or swapper candidate. But there is everything wrong if our perceptions begins to be detected by captured media. We expect that from private and independent media. So far, independent media is trying its best. For instance, on Monday, after all the rallies across the country over the weekend, they chose not to run anything on the front pages. Yet, if there's a World Cup in South Africa, their front pages is run with such stories. Reporters seek the truth, while politicians seek election. If you're a media house, either inform or analyze. Those are the basics, and be fair. Politicians are often quick to blame the media when a news story doesn't put them in a favorable light. But politicians also use the media to win elections by getting often free exposure they need to reach voters. So far, state media is campaigning for one candidate. Strangely, it's not the one who pays it. Something is amiss here. Tell the voters about the manifestos. Inform us where they are daily. Why do you choose one over the other? Reporters have no choice but to cover the people chosen to lead the government or who are front runners for a political party. There is a manipulation of candidate representation by media. Rallies are designed to show the voters spontaneous excitement for a candidate. There is nothing wrong with us. Don't tell us you are objective and independent. Donald Trump not only ran an aggressive media campaign, in the run-up to 2016 election, the biggest news channels in the world like CNN have never run anything positive about him. Who are you to say you are independent? We know you have a choice, but please inform or analyze. Don't withhold the information from the voters. Let people choose who they want on their social media platforms, their rallies, at the bus, or even the bushes. <clears throat> Faced with the awesome ability to influence the outcome of an election just by drawing attention to a candidate, how should the media cover the election? The media is not chasing popularity, creating popularity which is bad. Should a candidate get media attention according to how many people want to read about them? On some level, yes. But if you think the nanny shouldn't be leading 
or hage should be, this probably doesn't seem fair to you. To the degree that media attention causes a candidate to become more popular, there's a winner take all effect here. The leading candidate will get the most coverage boosting their lead. Meanwhile, the media has the potential to trap a candidate in last place because they can't get the coverage they would need in order to rise. All NBC radio stations are just talking about one candidate. Why? What's the alternative? Should journalists cover every candidate equally? Thank you for watching. Subscribe on our YouTube platform and remember, you too can be a Kalahari reporter.